Hello everybody, Chef Anita here. Hello. Okay, and Naya, my studio audience here. How is everybody doing? It is Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Woo! And today I woke up hungry and I definitely woke up wanting pizza. And instead of going out to get one, I decided since I already have these beautiful marinated chicken pieces, I have chicken breasts and some chicken legs, that I would roast those off, cool them off, pull the meat, and make my cast iron skillet barbecue chicken pineapple pizza. I know, I know, everybody has a fight about putting pineapple on a pizza, it doesn't belong on a pizza, I understand. But with a barbecue chicken pizza, you want pineapple. At least I do, I love it. Um, I probably wouldn't put it in any other kind of pizza, but for some reason the barbecue flavors just all work together, especially when I make my barbecue sauce because I actually incorporate bar uh, pineapple juice into the uh, barbecue sauce. Can't seem to get that out. Let's try that again. I actually incorporate pineapple juice in the barbecue sauce. So I'm carrying that pineapple flavor all the way through. So when you get to the top and you take a bite, it's not a separated flavor development. It's all throughout. And I'm always gonna preach about this. I'm always gonna ask you guys to please make sure and salt, make sure and develop those flavors because it does make a difference in your dish, no matter how simple or complicated you're going with your dinner. Um, so these chickens, um, <laughs> these chicken legs and <laughs> chicken breasts, Nice, cracking up at me. Are get, I'm gonna get roasted in a 450 degree oven, like I said, and then pull the meat. And then the skillet, I'm gonna go on ahead and oil slightly, put my dough down, and par cook it with just the sauce in the oven. And once it starts to come up and get all bubbly, I'm gonna pile on my chicken, some red onions, some jalapenos, the fire roasted a sliced pineapple, and uh, finish it off with some Gouda cheese and mozzarella cheese shredded right over the top. This is gonna be a flavor bomb if we've ever had one. And it's gonna be a little spicy, it's gonna be sweet, super savory. Yeah. And mm -hmm, Naya's, even she wants it. Like what kid wants pineapple on their pizza? I don't know any. So she's looking forward to it. So anyway, you wanna come back, you wanna see what I'm up to. And I'm definitely gonna try and give you a pro tip today. I know yesterday there wasn't one, uh, but I felt like the video pretty much was a giant pro tip. Uh, but today, I'll figure something out for you. Make sure and bring it back around. So I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. Okay guys, welcome back. Here we are in my kitchen, getting ready to start my um, barbecue sauce. Now, my chicken has already been roasted. Look at that, yummy. I'm waiting to pull it uh, until it is closer to the time when it has to go onto the pizza so it doesn't dry out. I'm just gonna leave it right on the bone in here. It's already cooled and then right before, I'm gonna take it off the bone and uh, pull it and then it'll go onto the pizza. So now, we have to start our barbecue sauce. Okay, so this barbecue sauce is one of the variations that I use. Um, I tend to switch things up depending on what kind of mood I'm in and what kind of flavor I want. This one's gonna be straight through and through, a nice, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. And so the base for it, can't go wrong. It's upside down, but that is Heinz ketchup. It literally has everything you need for a great base for barbecue. So we're just gonna put that right in there. Pardon the noise. I'm gonna say it's a couple of cups worth. And in case you haven't noticed, I don't measure anything. I just dump everything into a pot and taste. It's the way I've always been. Now that is gonna get married with pineapple juice because it's a pineapple barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna put that right in there. I really want that flavor to come through, so I'm going a little heavy-handed with it. And don't be afraid of it. 
like everything else that's going to go in here will mellow out that flavor and make it really nice. And then it's going to cook down. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this is going to be awesome. And then I also have some hot sauce. The Frank's Red Hot is definitely my favorite. Well, that's going to take forever if I try to do it that way. Let's crack that open. And again, it's a spicy barbecue sauce. I need some heat in here. So that goes in. And then here I have some um, dark molasses and some golden honey. That gets dumped in. That's going to give it that really nice, rich color that we all love in barbecue sauce. And clearly, I'm making way more than I need. But like I've said before, when I make things like this, I make an abundance so then I can use it in there something else. So that's gone in now. And then we're going to salt it. gonna give it some pepper there we go oh and guys there's the dough just resting waiting for its turn now this dough is a really simple recipe I've uh, featured it before if you need to see what it's about uh, look it up on my Instagram uh, it's Anita cooks one so a n i t a C O O K S, the number one. That's my Instagram handle, and you can see pretty much everything on there as well. But it's a simple um, dough recipe. It's all purpose flour, a little sugar, a little olive oil, uh, some salt. You could doctor it up with a little garlic powder, onion powder if you want. I don't do that though, I let everything else kind of do that for me. Um, and a little bit of water, blend with a hook. Let it rest. Oh, and you also need some active yeast on there. Um, so then it gets rested and then we use it up. Now here is my spice blend. A lot of spices, yeah? Look at that. There are a lot of different things happening in here. I have brown sugar. I have garlic powder, onion powder, coriander, cayenne. Um, what else did I put in here? Goodness. It has uh, paprika and uh, a couple of other things. I'm gonna keep to myself just because I'm planning a cookbook, that's why. And so when that happens, you guys will get all my little secrets. That gets dumped right in. Blend all that up. Look at the color on that. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's already smelling amazing. Like, I can't even handle the smell right now. It's just so beautiful. That's going to keep cooking. Now, we do need vinegar in here, of course. Now, I've already made a pro tip about this. I'm steeping my jalapenos in salt and apple cider vinegar. The Bragg's is my favorite. That's the guy. So I wanted to use some of this vinegar in my sauce. So I'm just going to dump a little bit of that, not too much. I don't want it to be too, too spicy. And then I'm going to use a regular bottled one in there as well. Now we're just going to see how that all cooks down. I will adjust if I need to in sweetness or acidity but that's it that is literally it guys it is a really simple barbecue sauce it's super different from anything else and it's gonna make this pizza absolutely sing so come on back and we'll take you through the next steps okay guys my barbecue sauce is going it's smelling amazing now I've cut these little uh, pineapple rings all cute and small like this. And now 
we're going to torch them. Now, if you have a baking torch, that's a little bit more convenient, but this came from my restaurant, so I still use this. Now, I am always careful when I do this. That's why I put the sheet trays on top of the stove. I don't try to do this on the counter or anywhere near anything else where I can set my whole house on fire. Look how cute that is. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my family. You guys are going to get to know them very well. Dwayne and Naya. These guys are forever quoting the office. So let's get used to it. So now I don't want to torch it too hard uh, because I don't want that propane taste. I just want to caramelize the sugar a little bit. And that's it. So I'm going to finish these off and we'll be back. Okay guys, now we're getting to the fun part. We have our dough, it feels good, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna start rolling this out. And because it is gonna be going into this cast iron, I wanna make sure it has a lip on it so we can get a nice crust on there. wanted to show you I'm pretty sure you saw uh, during that video that um, my dough is definitely fighting me um, problem not really it just needed to come up to room temperature a little bit more it was a little bit cold and that's okay so I just went ahead and stretched it out over the cast iron so that it can just kind of get used to the shape and um, get a little bit warmer so that it doesn't shrink back and already gravity is helping me here there we go because I definitely want a lip on this there we go We're gonna bring you guys over here. We're gonna start dressing this up. Okay, guys, pizza is down in my skillet with olive oil. Now we're gonna par cook it with my sauce. Now I do want a fair amount of sauce on there, but not so much so that I can't get my pizza nice and crispy and delicious. There we go. Now that is gonna go into the oven. Okay, pizza has been part cooked for about seven minutes in a 500 degree oven. Now we're gonna start building it up. So I really wanna start placing my pineapple and kind of imagining where the knife will cut through and what bites are gonna be there for us. So I wanna place everything so that we get an even bite. That looks really nice. And then going in with jalapenos. And yes, we do like it spicy, guys. There we go. Actually, I'm going to put a piece here and then a piece there. Same over here. I just want that pineapple, you know? And then we're going to go over the top. Some onion. Just like that.
And then of course, we'll put on our chicken. But first, I'm gonna put this back in the oven, let it cook for maybe another seven to 10 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, are we seeing what I'm seeing here? Like, look at this pizza. This thing is insane. I'm so happy right now, I can't even tell you. So again, it's been par cooking in a 500 degree oven. Now that I have the color that I wanted to achieve, I dropped the temperature down to 425. Also because I'm about to put my chicken over the top and I don't want it to dry out. That is number one for me. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that barbecue sauce and pour it over and give this chicken a little bit of a toss so that it stays nice and moist. Okay, literally just a little bit. So I'm gonna toss. Probably should have gotten a bigger bowl, huh? I am the worst at like getting the proper size bowl for whatever it is that I need, or Cambro, or what have you. It's just always been my thing. So here we go. <laughs> See? Nice. Putting that over the top. But before I put that down, I want to go on ahead and use that Mexican oregano and just give it a light little sprinkle. Oh man, come on. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the cheese. And again, this is a Gouda and mozzarella blend. I'm going to do a thin layer. And yeah, I like when the cheese falls over the edge because then you get like that crusty layer on the outside it's amazing okay so now let me grab a pair of tongs here here comes the chicken yeah when i'm really happy about what i'm cooking i make really strange sounds and <laughs> that's okay because cooking is fun you know you should have fun for sure. And typically I have music playing in my ears and definitely drinking a glass of wine or two. And it's just the way it's meant to be, you know? Actually, I'm gonna pull this piece out. It's a little bit too dark for me. I don't want any dry pieces. There we go. This is incredible. I'm going to go back in and just for garnish sake, put a couple more pieces of jalapeno. Again, I like it spicy. And then a brand new fried apple over the top. And then we're also going to add a couple more of those Beautiful onions. Actually, I'm gonna remove you. I didn't like the way it looked. Yes, I have some weird OCD where everything has to look absolutely picture perfect. I get it, but it's okay. It's just the kind of chef I am. And then I'm gonna go back over the top with some more cheese. And then that's gonna get blasted in the oven until finished. This is probably going to be like a knife and fork situation because this pizza has turned out to be a gorgeous, heavy pizza, you know? Oh, and because I had um, a little bit of dough left, I decided to make a really ugly looking calzone. It's got a little bit of broccoli and some marinara in there. Dwayne doesn't know about this yet. He is going to go ballistic when he sees it. So, shh. And there she is. In all her glory. This thing is incredible. Look at that. Barbecue sauce, chicken, onion, jalapeno, pineapple just peeking out right there. Ooh. Cannot wait to dig into this. And of course, the ugly calzone with cheese, broccoli, and marinara. Dwayne just about lost his mind when I told him. Look at that. Have fun, guys. See you soon. Okay, 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose layers of skin in my mouth after I take a bite of this, but this thing is incredible looking. Look. Look at that. Mmm.